Okay, so we've all been looking forward to this next segment. So we all know the importance of sleep, right? But new research pinpoints the exact time we should be hitting the hay to improve our heart health. So here to tell us what time it is and how it impacts when we should wake up is family physician, Dr. Melissa Lem. Good morning to you, doctor. Thank you. Like I said, we've been all looking forward to this segment. Please tell us. Let's start with the study. What did researchers find out about ideal bedtime? What is that magic hour? Well, when it comes to your heart health, the ideal bedtime could be between 10 and 11 p.m. So this group of researchers in the UK actually gathered sleep uh, data on sleep and wake times in 88,000 adults using a wearable device and followed their cardiovascular health over about six years. And they recently published a study showing that your risk of developing heart disease is up to 38% higher if you go to sleep earlier than 10 p.m. or later than 11 p.m., even after adjusting for factors like sleep quality, age, and other diseases. And Interestingly, this effect is especially significant in women. Interesting. So why is this the ideal time, like that 10 to 11 mark? Like what, what exactly is it about this hour? Well, this could be related to the fact that if you wake up too early or if you wake up too late, you might not see morning light at the right time, which is really important for resetting your body clock or your circadian rhythm. And there's a lot of evidence also showing that unhealthy sleep is related to other cardiovascular conditions like obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure, with later bedtimes in particular increasing your risk of a high body mass index. Mm -hmm. And over time, all of these things can worsen your heart health. Okay, so what if you don't go to bed at that time, say so you go a little bit earlier or even a little bit later, should you still wake wake up when you normally would? Like, what is the optimal wake up time? That's a really good question. And I have to say the research is mixed on that. So some studies say that staying on the same schedule is best because sleeping in can make you feel like you're jet lagged. Uh -huh. But others show that people who catch up on their sleep with an extra one to two hours on the weekend live just as long if they make up that sleep deficit that they accumulate during the work week. But in general, I would say that sticking to the same sleep and wake up times, if you can, is best. But if you do it occasionally, it's fine to sleep in. Yeah, because there's no such thing as catching up to some sleep, right? Um, here's the magic question, you know, the million dollar question, how much sleep should we be getting? Yeah, well, the general scientific consensus says that getting seven to nine hours of sleep per night is ideal because sleeping less than seven hours is linked to all kinds of different health issues like depression, heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. And if you're sleeping more than nine hours per night, this could be an indication that you have some diseases that are making you tired that can also shorten your life expectancy. So everybody that works on the morning show is doomed because I don't think anybody gets seven hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no. like we're all like, mm, yeah, we agree. Um, Me too, now, probably. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Even if you get less than seven, good sleep is so, so important. So how can we get the healthiest sleep to make sure that even if it's five hours, that we're getting the most of it? I think the most important thing is to try to prioritize your sleep. So we often think of diet and exercise as the two most important things for a healthy lifestyle, but sleep is just as important. So there are a lot of things you can do to improve your sleep, but in terms of winter or holiday season, mm -hmm. my top ones would be getting lots of sunlight in the morning and spending a lot of time outside during the day to reset your body clock, avoiding caffeine after about noon, cutting out the evening nightcap, because once that alcohol wears off in the middle of the night, your brain wakes up, which wakes you up, and then Finally, avoiding screen time for at least one hour before bedtime because that blue light actually tricks your brain into thinking it's daytime. Yeah, that one, I have to say the last one for all of us is definitely a tough one because we want to see what we're kind of dealing with the next day. But those are amazing tips there, Dr. Lem. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.